Hi, I'm Sneha May Francis and today on FC Early Buzz, the spotlight is on Daddy. A film that chronicles the rise and fall of an infamous gangster turned politician Arun Gauli. Captured across different time frames, director Ashram Aluvalia tells the story of a young man who is forced into the world of crime and later transforms himself into a leader for his people. So here's a look at what I liked about the film, the narrative style. Uh, it is a challenge when you talk about a life that people already know about. So writers Arjun and Ashim have created the perfect plot. They've used the investigation of a high-profile murder to pack in the thrills and suspense and and enable us to understand a little bit more about Arun Gauli. The design of the film, now from the costumes to the set to the makeup, everything brings alive Mumbai of the 70s, the 80s and the 90s. Uh, from, the, uh, from Arjun Rampal's nose job to the bell bottoms to Hema Malini's montage shots, it's pitch perfect. And the action sequences, it's, it is a gangster film um, and most of the set pieces are designed so cleverly and so brilliantly um, whether it's the gun battle or whether it's someone tulping someone's face the sound effects it's almost real and makes you feel quite uneasy the performances Arjun Rampal is dressed the part and uh, he has given an honest portrayal uh, it helped him that uh, the gangster is a man of few words but the surprise element here is Nishikant Kamath, the director turned actor who lends a certain amount of menacing, controlled madness to the world of Gauli. Even the supporting cast are fairly um, impressive. There's Rama, there is, uh, there is a lady who plays his wife, Aishwarya Rajesh. They're all faultless in their performances. And here's a look at what I didn't like, the slant. Now, early on, uh, Kauli asks his daughter why he's been referenced as Robin Hood. And she replies, Robin Hood is a thief, but not a villain. And he says, that's good. Almost emphasizing which side the filmmaker is on. There is no real sense of his failings or, or his dark side. And the voices that uh, Ashim uses to unearth the different faces of Gauli are pretty much one-sided. There is a surprise cameo in this film, uh, possibly the weakest link. Um, someone playing a gangster, not convincingly enough, reducing it to all glam and puffed up smokes and sunglasses. To sum it up, Daddy is a good attempt, but it falls short of being great cinema. Possibly because we've seen Mumbai gangster films like Satya, where the characters continue to live on even now. And if you like this review, comment, like, share and subscribe to Film Companion Reviews.